very, very good. Any, sub, any, who is going to be your team that think you think is going to go three deep, or who's going to be either three deep in the playoffs? Is it going to be McCallum Memorial? Do you think they're going to be our team leader? Because there's always one team at the end of the season that uh, you know is able to has that threat to go three deep and maybe even further. I think I need to say Sherry Lynn because we have Coach Ron Dami on <laughs> next. Um, but I think Coach, Mo- I, I think Memorial probably has the best uh, best chance. Sure. So, because the five A's have a really tough road to the second round. Absolutely, they sure do. All right, Coach Ron Adama, thank you very much for being on the show here, Coach. How are you doing this morning? Doing good, Carlos. Doing good, Jake. Excellent, Coach. Well, Coach, talk to me a little bit about what's the buildup been because, you know, we kind of pretty much figured it was going to be Sherryland versus Mercedes, you and, and your little cousin, uh, Roger Adama Jr. You guys are going to be battling out. What's it been like all this week, you know, kind of the buildup to the game with the two families? Well, um, it really hasn't been much. This week we were focused on finishing out our regular season against Real Grand City. So we met Thursday to do our uh, uh, the coin toss and all, but um, our focus has been on Real Grand City. So really it's been less than 24 hours since, you know, we shifted our focus from, from Rio to, uh, to Mercedes. But, um, it, you know, it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be an exciting time of the year. Just, you know, that it's playoffs, but more importantly, you know, that it's, um, that it's against Rogers team and, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Absolutely, coach. You know, Mercedes is going to come out here. They're going to, they're going to throw the ball around similar to what you guys do run the spread. And uh, just like a, a lot of these teams here in the real grand Valley, I don't know how much scouting you have done. I heard you try to sneak into a game last week, but everybody noticed you. Uh, Cause you're like, coach, what are you doing here? Ron, <laughs> Ron, Ron, this and Ron that. But what, what do you see from Mercedes? Well, I mean, I, I see a balanced uh, offense. Um, you know, I, I see some playmakers and, and, and um, defensively very sound, very aggressive, three, four style. And, and uh, they, uh, uh, they create problems. And I, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to see them uh, in person this year. Last year was when I, when I went and, and, and I watched them. Uh, but um, we know we're going to have our hands full and those coaches are going to have those boys ready to play. Yeah, and you guys won the toss, so the game's going to be taking place in Sherryland. That has to make you feel good that uh, you get your first round game there at home. Oh yes, definitely. I mean, just we practice on this field. I mean, I look out my uh, my office window, and, and and it's you know I'm looking out in, into my game field, and so or our game field rather. But um, you know, it, it, it's always good to play at home, and, and hopefully we get the uh, uh, big crowd. I know Mercedes is going to travel well, so. We're uh, anticipating an exciting by district uh, round playoff game here at home. Coach, both teams are it seems to be playing. They seem to be playing their, their best football here at the at the end of the season. That's always something that you, that you want to see. Mercedes hasn't lost since that game against Donna. And, Donna, yep. Yeah, that, that's the last game, and and you guys have also finished off the season uh, pretty well. As are you all playing your best football right now? Would you say that? Well, I mean, uh, in certain areas after our Roma. Uh, lost we, we challenged our boys and told them uh, guys we got to win our last three games our playoffs have pretty much started and we hadn't put uh uh three three wins you know we hadn't uh, uh put them together yet and so we finished out the boys met our challenge we finished out the regular season three and oh and um you know we, we brought up a player or two from our jv that's made a big difference and and you know we're uh uh, we're playing good football right now, and, and that's what you want to be. You want to be peaking at the right time, especially going into playoffs that third season. And, and coach, what are the expectations for Sherryland? Uh, obviously, a tough district. Vela had, you know, was very, very good this year. Roma was good. I mean, it's a tougher district than what, and I don't want to say than you've had in the past, because you've always had to play in a tough district, whether it was a, you know, five A or, or a lower division. It's, you know, five A now is the lower division. Uh, just talk to me a little bit about what it's been like this year and just how tough it, and how competitive it's been. Well, I mean, our expectation uh, level has always been high here. Um, you know, we, we had won three, uh, uh, three district championships in a row this year. We came up short. But, um, you know, making the playoffs is, is, is always a good accomplishment. Uh, when, when we locked in the playoff spot last week, you know, our boys really weren't overly excited you know i guess that expectation was was there um you know they're they're, uh they're they're taking a blue collar humble approach to this season and and taking everything into perspective with the split and all and playing some big 6a uh programs 
Uh, we've taken our lumps. We, we've been in close ball games and been able to win some and lose some. And so I think all of those uh, experiences that we've had this season is, is uh, I'd like to think that it's that it's prepared us for for the postseason. So uh, you know, our boys haven't gotten too over emotional with wins, with losses. They've stayed even keel, and that's you know that's a good thing. That's what you want uh, from a group of young men. Absolutely, absolutely, Coach. Talk to me a little bit about your quarterback. He was, uh, you know, he's been one of those guys that has has had to carry, you know, this team in that game that y'all had against Vela. Y'all had it there. To, it was, you know, driving down the field, and, and then, you know, they came up with the victory. Talk to me a little bit about his play. Seth Carter, quarterback for us versus Vela, and, and he had a phenomenal game. I mean, he, had, he had counted for, for five touchdowns and, and you know, over 500 yards of, of offense. Uh, you know that that's probably been you know the best game by far of his career. Mm-hmm. Um, you know there at the end we came up short. You know he was a little heartbroken because of us being so close. But Seth's a competitor, and 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 you know our boys rally around his play and his passion for this game. Um, here our last three, our really our last two games we we started Randy Campos. We you know. And he's done a phenomenal job. Um, Seth's been at slot receiver, and, and, and we've brought up a JV uh, player by the name of Blake Klein that's kind of balanced up our inside slot position. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, both our quarterbacks have thrown for 1,000 yards. So that's always a good feeling, knowing that you got two individuals that can pilot your offense. And y'all, do y'all, is it a more balanced, is it a balanced attack that y'all have? Is it running and passing kind of 50 50, or is it more passing, Coach? Pretty much, it, it's been balanced. It's 50 50. When you take a look at our statistics, uh, we've got about two or 300 more passing yards. Yeah. But uh, going into each season, we try to be as balanced as we can. And, and, and you know, a lot of times you're going to base what you attack with on, on what the defense is trying to stop or where, you know, you see. Um, vulnerabilities or, or just weaknesses but uh you know we, we we're taking what they're giving us whether it be on the ground whether it be in the air yeah, coach you you end, you end the season uh, you, you know take a look at the standings it was vela mission vets roma then Sherryland. you you got to believe that this is a, an important game for you guys you you want to you know like you said you're you're sherry land is used to winning championships and now you have an opportunity to win a bi-district championship so this is something that's very important for you guys well this is when you look at it, uh, this will be our first opportunity to win a championship. You know, we the, in our district there ended up uh, being a three-way tie for district runner-ups between uh, okay. uh, Roma Vets and ourselves. But when you take a look at the tiebreaker head-to-head and and you know, with the point system, Vets won that three-way tie, then Roma, then us. But uh, here's our opportunity to uh, to win our first championship uh, of the season and. Uh, Winning a by district crown is, is definitely going to be you know something worth uh, working for, and worth performing for. So you know our, our boys are going to be excited. We're going to have them ready to play. All right, coach. We're going to go ahead and let you go right now. I know you have to break down film and get ready for that game next week. It's going to be exciting. You know, uh, all the people of Mercedes. You know, we all follow you. We all follow Sherryland. If if they're not following Mercedes, they're, they're following Sherryland because you know you played for the Tigers and and graduated sure. in, in 1985. So it should be a good, fun game. Good luck, and uh, we'll so see much, you Friday. Carlos. Okay, thank you so much, gentlemen. Have a good day. Thank Bye-bye. you. All right, so that was Coach Ron Adam, and he kind of explained it. He, only two district losses, Jake, but he ends up the fourth seed via the the, the tiebreaker. Yeah, and, you know, Roma had that win, that big win against them, and that hurt them. Um, but, you know, it, there's some really good storylines. I mean, Mercedes versus Sherry Lynn, Cousins. Yeah, I think that's the first time in uh, a long time that Mercedes and Sherry Lynn have played. Wow, that's going to be incredible. Yeah, so, I can't remember the last time they played. Yeah, and you know what, though? You know what? That's what we want to see anyways. Sure, different matchups. And two high-caliber teams, good, high-potent offenses. And Mercedes has certainly improved as well. They could be one of these surprise teams. If they can get by Sherilyn, I think in the next round, whoever wins is going to play against the University of Cal Allen. So, yeah, that so would be a good in- interesting game. game for them then. Okay, do we need a break, Henry? Is that what we're talking about right now? Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a break. You're listening to The Huddle on Fox Sports 1700. Carlos Roberto along with Jake Berry.